Hello, all my sirs, mates, and ladies out there. How's it going? It's Brad Wheel and also known as GMD57, and welcome back to another episode of Pimp My Ride on GTA 5. Now, today we're going to be pimping out the new Pegasi Osiris. This is the new uh, supercar we got with the Ill Gotten Gains Part 1 update that just came out yesterday. So, I figured this would probably be the first one I'd pimp just because supercars are always, I don't know, just what people are more interested in, I find. I'm always um, looking at the supercars first because I obviously do more supercar races than like muscle car races or coupe races, but that's just per personal preference. I don't know what you guys like to do. Like maybe you guys like to race sedans all the time. I, I, I don't know. Like some people just like that. But anyway, we're going to be pimping out this one. I will pimp out the rest of the ill-gotten gains update cars as well as be, I think I'll be doing a color guide on the Pegasi Osiris as well. So you stars can stay tuned for that over the next couple days. Anyway, let's get started on pimping this car. This is a very cool car, and it does have lots of modifications that I can uh, add to it. So let's get going. Um, max armor and brakes, of course. Get that off the start. Now, bumpers. We do have a whole bunch of different bumpers here. We have the um, the race splitters, so we can either get it with primary, secondary, or with carbon. And then we have the street splitters, which just have a little cutout in the front there. If you see the difference, right at the bottom, there is a little cutout, which I actually like the street splitters better. So I think I'm going to get that with a secondary color just because later when I color the car, this car has lots of cool secondary color accents like up around the cabin there on top and along the back bumper here as well as along the sides. So I think that looked really cool. Uh, next, we go to the back bumper and it's either stock or race rear diffuser, which obviously the rear diffuser looks better on pretty much every car. So I will definitely get that. Why the fuck did I back out of the garage? I do this all the time. Literally, it's the worst thing ever. Just let me get back inside. Oh man, look, look, it's it's done pimp, it's pimped. Look how, this couldn't be any cooler. Like, <laughs> anyway, we'll make it look a lot cooler. It only got bumpers on there. Like, do we just want bumpers? No, no, we don't just want bumpers. We want everything else. All right, so we're on engine now, max out the engine. Obviously we want this thing to go fast. Now the thing about the exhaust, is this a little weird because there's a whole bunch of exhaust piling out of the back of this thing. It's like hard to see. But if you can look real uh, real close there from the side, we got the oval exhaust, the race exhaust, and the chrome tip, which on this, I usually like this kind of race style exhaust because it has those blue rings and I find that really cool. But I actually like the chrome tip better on this car, so I'll definitely get that. Now, fenders, we only have one option. It's similar to what you can get on the Jester, I believe. Jester, I feel like it's the Jester, but it could be another car too. The Benefactor Feltzer also has these, I believe, but it's the uh, race wing vents, if you look, there over the front wheels to get those vents. They look super cool. Definitely makes it look more racer. Now horns, I never go for horns. Online they're really expensive. I mean, single player they're cheap, but I mean, who honks their horn anymore? It's so annoying. Those people off the start of races are just like honk, honk, honk. It's like, I know you're there, thank you. Anyway, we got Xenon lights. I'm gonna get the front, back, and sides neon kit. Uh, color I'll wait on until um, I pick which color's gonna be on my car. Yellow and black plate. Now we're on to respray. Now I think I already have a color picked out in my mind that I want to do on this but um I, I I'm gonna try it out first like I gotta I don't know what it fully looks like but I want it to be some sort of red so I don't want it to be like the classic red these are too classic everybody uses these um I'm thinking garnet red no I'm thinking I'm gonna try the cabernet red the cabernet red and then a pearlescent of one of the brighter reds and I think it looked pretty cool um where are we here so we got red Torino red or formula red. I think the Torino red looks the brightest and I do like things bright. So I'm going to put the Torino red on there. I actually think this looks better just because the Cabernet red is just a little bit different. So, you know, it, it doesn't look like all the other reds. It, it looks a little bit off, but it looks nice in, in a good way. In a good way, of course. Now, secondary color now is where we can color all those accents. Now, red looks good with black as well as white. So that's the black on there right now. This is matte black. And now I'm thinking, I'm thinking the white is a cooler accent on the car. I think the white actually looks nicer. So I'm gonna put the white on there just in matte so it doesn't have too much of the, um, the pearlescent shine on there, but it still gets a little bit, so that looks nice. Uh, now we'll go to skirts. We have primary, secondary, or carbon skirts. I think for this one, primary color looks better just because the uh, white right next to the red there looks nice. Uh, we do have spoilers. We have the race wing and the GT wing. I am gonna go with the race wing on this car. I normally like getting really big spoilers, but for some reason, I don't know, the GT wing just doesn't look right on this car, just the way it stands. I like this one better. Um, so, race wing for sure. Transmission, turbo tuning. We can get that done real fast out of the way. Now we're on to wheels. And there's one there's one type of wheel that always looks nice on like any car I do, and that's the carbon shadow wheel. So I, I definitely want to pick those ones. I, really, I don't know, I really like those wheels. And on those wheels, should I get white or should I get red? This is the dilemma I have. Do you see 
the struggle, the everyday struggle I have to go through. Here's, okay, okay, so I'm gonna want either the wheels a different color from the neon. So do I want white neon, or white neon and red wheels, or red wheels and white neon? This is hard to pick. I, I think I'm gonna go with the white wheels, and then I'll go with the red neon. That's what I'm gonna do. I think it's gonna look nice. And then we'll have custom tires, bulletproof tires, and we will have red tire smoke on there. So, windows, we'll get that done, limo tint windows, and let me go back up to lights and just pick our neon color. So I'm gonna put red on that, and I think we are done. That is one sick looking car. All right, so it's a little bit dark outside, which means you can see the neon. Looks pretty great coming out of the garage right there. And this is my pimped out Pegasi Osiris. So I think this is a pretty nice car. Um, I don't think anyone can deny this is a nice car, whether you like the colors I put on it or not. But I think I did a pretty good job of pimping this car in the sun. That red will look a lot nicer. If you look along the side here as I move, that shine from the sun looks pretty great with that pearlescent. I think it looks really nice. And um, I, I, I do like how this car has a primary and secondary color that accent each other beautifully. There's so many combinations you can put on this car. I feel like I could have done the same thing um, with a blue and white and still looked very nice. So. There's so many options for this car, that's why I'm going to do a, um, what's it called, ultimate color guide on this car because there's just so many options. I've already have a couple in my mind that look really cool on this car, so I'll be showing those to you, sirs, if you're having trouble pimping these out. Now, if you, sirs, bought one of these, you can tell me down in the comment section below and you can tell me, like, what colors you put on yours because I know anyone that bought this, you've got some uh, money to burn because these things were not cheap. 1.95 mil online and offline, which is crazy because I would have thought they'd been cheaper online after seeing the prices on, uh, offline, but really, they're not. They're just as expensive. Like, it's crazy. 1.95 mil is a lot for a car. I thought it'd be a lot less. Um, but hey, some people just have money to burn. I've seen a, a bunch of them around GTA Online lately in like the past uh, day and a half now. So if you guys have one, you can tell me down in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what colors you guys put on yours. And I hope you sirs are excited for the uh, ultimate color guide I'll be doing on this car soon, as well as pimping out the other ill-gotten gains update cars. So thanks so much for watching, and as always, have a good day.